Red Dead Redemption 2 is full of hidden easter eggs and references throughout its entire world, and a lot of these refer to previous games that were also produced by Rockstar Games, its founder. One of these former titles was a gem of a game released all the way back in 2006, then later re-released in March of 2016 as a 10-year anniversary edition. I'm of course talking about Bully. I want to welcome you all to the video. You're listening to Phil of Philby Gaming. I've compiled a list for you detailing all the references to Bully that I could find in the world of Red Dead Redemption 2. Of course, if you know of any I've missed, please feel free to let us know via the comment section below. I'll be breaking each one down into chapters, so if you're watching one you already know, you have the ability to skip to the next. Please be aware that there will be spoilers ahead for both titles. If you enjoyed what you see today, be sure to hit like and subscribe and share with friends and family or anyone you may think would enjoy content such as this. With that being said, let's get straight into what we came here to see. 6 Bully References Found in Red Dead Redemption 2 To start things off, I wanted to get the most obvious one out of the way, one that I think most people may have already noticed. There's a side quest in RDR2 that can be discovered very early on in the game and it's located in the town of Valentine. At Keen Saloon, the player will come across Theodore Levin, a writer who is attempting to put together a novel telling the tale of legendary gunslinger Jim Boy Calloway. To cut a long story short, the player is tasked with tracking down former shootists in an attempt to receive quotes about Calloway for the book. The side quest ends with one final duel between Jim Boy himself and his arch rival, a lawman known as Slim Grant. After the confrontation, which leads to the death of both men, the players can loot the body of Calloway and retrieve his unique sidearm. Closely inspecting this revolver will reveal an engraving on the battle, which reads the following Canis Canum Edit. This translates to Dog Eat Dog in Latin. Canis Canum Edit was the alternative title for Bully upon its release in specific regions such as Europe and Africa. In at number 2. Players who roam the region of New Austin may have come across a travelling circus wagon that's been overturned. It's at this site, just outside of Manzanita Post, that we can discover, in the rear of the blue wagon, a fortune teller that goes by the name of Madame Irene. Madame Irene, when prompted, will give the player an eerily accurate fortune reading, even commenting on the player's appearance, such as follows. A fortune teller can be found at Billy Crane's Travelling Carnival in the town of Bullworth. Not far from the entrance, the magic Mr. Foley's machine can be interacted with, throwing insults at young Jimmy in a similar fashion to how Madame Irene would. For number three, we're staying at the same location, the Travelling Circus. Inspecting the red wagon to the rear of the convoy, players will discover the remains of female Siamese twins. The art upon the vehicle itself gives us insight as to what the girls actually looked like when they were alive, both still wearing a blue stroke purple dress between them. Also upon the wagon is the number three. Heading back to the carnival in Bully, Jimmy can visit a freak show. Painted on the outside is a picture very similar to that of the conjoined twins of RDR2, wearing a resembling dress. Entering inside, the first altercation that players will see is a skeleton man. The second is a bearded lady. Third in line, referencing the number three upon the wagon, is of course the Siamese twins. Number four. In the more working class region of Sardinia, players can encounter a random event at a bar named Doyle's Tavern. The owner of this establishment, Doyle, has a rat infestation problem, 
which is forcing him to lose custom. He begs the player to help him clear out the rodents plaguing his bar, offering them money to do so. This encounter is a direct reference to one of the later missions in Bully, in which the school's library has also been infested and overrun with rats. Jimmy Hopkins, similar to Arthur or John in Red Dead Redemption 2, is awarded money for exterminating the rodents. For number 5, we're still in the city of Saint Denis. In chapter 4 of the game, when Arthur and Dutch are searching for information as to the whereabouts of Angelo Bronte, a drunkard at a bar advises Arthur to talk to a couple of kids in the alley. This of course is a setup, leading to one of the kids stealing Arthur's satchel. After giving chase, if the player doesn't catch the agent in time, he will be led into a trap. The leader of this gang of kids bears a strong resemblance to that of bully protagonist Jimmy Hopkins himself. And our final one today at number 6. Upon completing the final mission in Red Dead Redemption 2, titled American Venom, the player is awarded with the Endless Summer Achievement. This is a direct reference to Bully once more. After you defeat Jimmy Hopkins' arch nemesis, Gary Smith, you are able to re-enter the free roam mode in the final chapter of the game. This is also titled Endless Summer. I realise that this was a shorter video than I usually produce, but I hope you all enjoyed it regardless. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing and share with anyone you feel may enjoy videos such as this. Once again, if there are any references to Bully in Red Dead Redemption 2 that you're aware of and feel I may have missed, let us know in the comment section below or by finding me over on Instagram, that's at philbygaming. Thank you all for watching, you've been listening to Phil and I'll see you in the next one.